Jim, who wins tonight? Well, it looks like the home team. I mean, <laughs> if you think about the series, it, it, it's crazy because it's not a se lot of separation between the two. If you're the Wizards, you look at this game, you say, what do we have to do to win on the road? And, and, it's, and it's real simple. One, you got to take care of the basketball. They're averaging about 15 turnovers a game when they're playing against Boston on the road. Also, defensively, because they don't have a deep bench, they can't get into foul trouble. Mm -hmm. they, they have to defend and force other guys to beat them. You know, Avery Bradley, can he mm -hmm. have that type of game that he's looking for? Can a Jay Crowder knock down shots? Can a Marcus Smart knock down shots? Because that Boston team is so dependent upon those other guys to make shots, whereas Washington, you have three or four players that can create some opportunity. Mm -hmm. So, but it, but, it, but it goes back to, again, what we talked about on the road, critical thinking, knowing how to win. And this Washington team has the right components, Bradley Beal, to me, is the key. Yes. He has to be the catalyst in regards to not only knocking down shots, but putting so much pressure on the defense off the dribble that it forces the Celtics to now have to help. That's going to open it up inside for Gertad and also for Marquise Moore. So, but I'm hedging towards just because of how this series has gone, and Washington hasn't shown that grit yet or that understanding of how to go into a hostile environment and on the road in the type of game this is going to be, and win it. I just, I just, I just don't feel it yet. Thoughts? No, you go. <laughs> uh, I'm taking the Wizards. Mm. Um, I thought the Wizards would win this in seven, um, but I'm going to take them to win in six. I believe they're going to get this game here, at game six in Boston, and they'll go back home and close it out. John Wall is averaging 28 and 12, and this series, at worst case scenario, should be 3-1. Best case scenario, you should be over. Mm -hmm. Because you jump out 16 nothing. you have a 14-point... I mean, you have a 17-point lead at one point in game one. You have a 14-point halfway through the third quarter. You're up six with 243 left mm -hmm. in the fourth, and you don't close that ball game. But I think what the Wizards have found out, whomever Isaiah Thomas is guarding, that's where I want the ball to go. Because you got to make him work. Because they're letting him chill, and then he got into a rhythm. He hit 33, hit him up for 53. Because here's my thing. I know he can score. But can Jay Crowder consistently, can he and go that's six, question. six for eight or three right. like he did in game one? Can Al, Al Horford almost have a triple-double like he did in game one? Am I going to really believe Rozier and Smart and Olenek going to keep knocking down shots consistently? I do not. So my main objective is I'm going to tire Isaiah Thomas out on defense. You want to go try and score 33 and, and, and work up a lather mm -hmm. on the offensive end? Well, let me see you move your feet. Bradley Beal, if he's on you, take him. John, well, you know John Wall. And John Wall is a true point guard. He is that old-school point guard. He can score. He's starting to realize, because I didn't see them. I didn't see this in him coming out of college, mm -hmm. but he developed his game. He got a nice little jump shot. It's not always consistent, Skip. But I believe they go in to Boston, mm -hmm. and John Wall has one of those games, like a 30-12. and 12. Bradley Beal gets about 25, and they win this ball game. Let me this up. What Washington has to do, though, they... They're scoring enough points, 115, but you can't give up 126. <laughs> right. They're going to win the game. They got to keep Boston to, like, 105 yeah. in that area. But they're giving up plus 115. It's going to be tough for them to win on the road. And, and you know, that's what they've given up in those two games at Boston. I'm with Jim on this. I am still not convinced that the Wizards can win a game at Boston, and they need to win one game or they're going to lose in seven, <laughs> right? Yep. And tonight is huge for John Wall. He is, by many people's accounts, Karan Butler. He is the second best player in the Eastern Conference. Who's number one? Well, obviously, <laughs> that king of Akron is number one. I didn't he's he's got no competition. I didn't love to hear you say it. I didn't love to hear you say it. Well, there's no competition in the East. Now, if we want to talk about the West, we got Kawhi Leonard. We got. Uh, okay, here we go. So yeah. back to this. Back to John Wall. Big night in his resume of his career, mm -hmm. playoff resume, because. His team keeps hitting the wall in Boston in games one and two. Because, as you said, or you said for sure, that they're, they're up 16 to nothing to start the game. And mm -hmm. then game two, they're up 14, and they got a six-point lead with 243. you got to close that deal. If you're the second-best player in the Eastern Conference, it's up to you to close that deal. Mm -hmm. And who closed the game two deal in overtime? The littlest man on the floor did. Yep. Because he scored 53 total points. And he goes for nine in overtime on four out of four shots. And meanwhile, John Wall, this was sort of a James Harden where mm -hmm. 
He scored, uh, what, 40 total points, but 35 of John Wall's points in game two came in the first three quarters. So he scores five points in the fourth quarter, not enough, and zero in overtime, definitely no. not enough. So it's it's up to the, the game at some point. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's going to be a close game because yeah. they, they both were fairly close games. Mm -hmm. The ball's going to be in his hands, and he has to make it happen in ways James Harden couldn't make it happen last night because – the Wizards are more talented than the Celtics. Get it loaded. They are. Are they a better basketball team than Boston? I'm not sure about that because Boston will defend you. And, again, I'm not sure the Wizards even think about deep because <laughs> you're right. that Again, it was overtime in the second game. But 123 and 129 is what you allowed at Boston to a team that, that doesn't have that much firepower. I mean, the, the little man, 5'9", he went for 53 on you you got to do a better job than that. John Wall's got to do a better job of managing the game. Here's the thing, though, Skip. If you think about it, in game two, John Wall had an 18-footer and Bradley Beal had they a 14-footer 14 14 to win the game. Yeah. They did. Mm -hmm. They're not even really supposed to be. I mean, as yeah. good as a shooter as Bradley Beal is, they're not even supposed he to be. He got a little game. surprised by it because it was off an offensive rebound. Right. He didn't look ready to, uh-oh, I got to shoot And he, 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 he short-armed short short it. He yep. did. So, mm -hmm. I, I, I like the Wizards. I like the Wizards. I like the way John Wall is playing. And... Isaiah Thomas, if you want to score all these points, let me see what you're going to do with Bradley Beal because we're going to post you up. We're giving the ball to whomever Isaiah Thomas is guarding, and that seems to be the key to, uh, to their success. Oh, well, the Wizards get Kelly Oubre Jr. back also as well from his yep. suspension. And Coach uh oh, Kelly. John Brooks <laughs> said he should bring some earplugs <laughs> to Game 5. You, so. saw, you saw Kelly. I ran up over there. Yeah. He slowed up a little bit. Yeah, 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 a little he thought about that fine. He thought yeah. about that fine. One it's game because Adam Silver would have won. Oh, if he'd have swung on him. <laughs> Brought to you by Straight Talk Wireless.